to head off to the dollar store really quick. I had been promising the kids that we were gonna make some homemade Play-Doh and I did not realize I needed a ton of salt to make it. So I'm just gonna go to the dollar store, grab some salt really fast. I also need to get Band-Aids because I had mentioned before that Aubrey cut her finger open with a knife and so we were just keeping it covered. So I need to go get some like bigger Band-Aids for her. So we're gonna run to the dollar store really quick and then come home and make some Play-Doh. If that's what you want, then baby, try to believe me when I say that you can tell me anything. I can see it in your eyes that you're shaking cause you're holding it back. Oh, they're 50% off. Why do they have Christmas stuff? They're bringing out the Christmas stuff. That is so cute. Oh, I love it. That's so cool. They like put it under the ground. That is cute. Oh wait, can I give everybody Austin and me a pack? They're one dollar. Whoa, dude, that is creepy. <laughs> But before we get started on our Play-Doh and all that fun stuff, I did want to thank today's video sponsor, which is Moody Tiger. So thank you so much, Moody Tiger, for gifting us with these kids' clothing. We seriously love them so much. They are so stylish and so comfy. Adrian got the back open short sleeve top, which is very lightweight and breathable and so comfy and stretchy when she put her outfit on she was seriously in love she said these are the most comfortable clothes that she owns and the bottom is called the breezy legging and it is upf 50 plus sun protection fast drying and sweat wicking austin is wearing the fast and free long sleeve with the outdoor recreation pants both the top and bottom are super soft and stretchy and also fast drying and the pants are water resistant and aubrey picked out the color blocking long sleeve with the twister skirt with leggings and you guys these are seriously so buttery soft i can't even describe how soft all of these clothes are i am so blown away by the quality and the feel of these clothes so make sure you head down to my description check them out they have so much to choose from the kids could not make up their mind they loved so many of these outfits and you guys you cannot go wrong with the leggings they are so comfy i honestly wish they made them in my size they feel so soft i know i've said that numerous times but you guys i truly mean it so make sure you head down to my description check them out i do have a discount code to help save you 18 percent off of your order and i truly appreciate it and once again thank you so much moody tiger for sponsoring today's video this is everything i picked up from the dollar store of course more than i anticipated uh, <laughs> like usual but you guys they had some really cool stuff so i am decorating the kids bathroom halloween very soon i'm not sure if that video is going to come out before or after this one but i'm going to use this on the kids toilet i'm going to do their bathroom halloween so we got this for the toilet seat 
And then, like I said, Aubrey needed some Band-Aids, so I got the big ones. They are antibacterial and waterproof. And then I got some more of the like smaller Band-Aids as well, just to have. And then this candle smells so good. It's pumpkin and gourds and uh, it smells so delicious. It's only $4, so I picked up one of those. This I thought would be perfect in the kids' bathroom for the tear tray that I'm gonna do in Halloween themed. So I got some of that. This is gonna be for Adrienne's Halloween costume. She wants to be Pennywise, so she wanted a sword, so she picked up a sword. Adrienne got some LED lights and some vampire teeth. She used her chore money for it. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> and and I we got, got yeah, we got all the kids' lollipops. But and I'm also gonna be decorating the front porch or like the front yard Halloween. That's really, I don't really do too much Halloween inside the house. This year we're just gonna do the kids bathroom and then the front yard. So I got some spider webs. You can't beat that a dollar for a pack. So I got two of those. Of course, the salt that I went for to make the Play-Doh today. So I got that. The girls have been needing more socks. So I picked up this 12 pack. They're just gonna share those. Austin went ahead and got a sword as well because they both want to be Pennywise. So they picked up these masks, which was not a bad price at all, $6. So I told them we have to pick these up, not play with them until Halloween, because of course, you know how kids are, they're gonna break it before Halloween gets here. So I'm gonna tuck those away for them. I also picked up some whipped cream. I wanna make the homemade pumpkin spice creamer soon, and I wanna top it with whipped cream. So picked up some whipped cream, this I thought was just too cute. I've always wanted one of these and it has two different sides. I just thought it was so adorable. And then we needed more hangers. We are always running out of hangers in this house. They're always getting broken and everything else. So got a big pack of white hangers. And then I got this cute little trick or treat bag for Ethan. I just thought it was so adorable. It's super soft. It's like a perfect size for him. He usually gives up on trick or treating, you know, like midway. So picked up that for him. And that is everything that I got from Dollar General. We are ready to make our Play-Doh. The kids are eating their lunch right now. So in order to make this Play-Doh, it is super simple. You only need a few ingredients. I have not made this since the kids were little, so I had to like do a refresher on Pinterest. So I will link the website that I got the full recipe off of for you guys in case you wanna save it and make it for yourself. But all you need is some water. I'm gonna be making mine with essential oil so it smells really nice. I wanna do like fall themed. So I have some essential oils. I have a Scentsy holiday shortbread and then my cinnamon leaf and clove that I'm gonna mix together. So this is gonna be for the boys and then the girls are gonna do this scent. And then we're also gonna be making orange or red Play-Doh. And then we have our flour. We need cream of tartar, salt, and vegetable oil. So we're gonna combine everything except the essential oil and the food coloring. We're gonna wait on those because, you know, since we're making different scents and different colors, hold off on that, but we're gonna mix everything else into our pot on low heat. We're gonna cook it and mix it with my spatula until it forms into like a ball around my spatula. And then I'm gonna set it over here or you can do parchment paper, but I have these for parchment paper. So I'm gonna set it on here. Once it cools a little bit, we're gonna knead it and then it will be ready for food coloring and essential oil. We did Adrian's nails yesterday, go like this so we can see them. Oh! They turned out so good. Yeah, so good. Those are the sticker things that yeah. I picked up from HEB. Love it. This is my favorite one. Let's see if we can zoom in on it. A Hold on. Hold it still. A oh! That one's my favorite too with the ghost and pumpkins. Yeah. Love it.
Who's excited for some play doh? Me. Okay, you want a red apron? Yeah, I want red play doh. Here's your oh. play doh. Oh, and then good. Smell it. Smell good. Ew. <laughs> It's amazing, thanks. You're welcome. And we have some cookie cutters. That way the kids can make some shapes with them. Polly? Oh yeah. Christmas tree. We got a Christmas tree. Yeah, we don't really have too many uh, Halloween ones, but that's okay. It's still fun. Now I need to go get Aubrey, see if she wants to play too. Oh, she made a skeleton. Can I make a skeleton? Mm -hmm. I'll make a big leaf. Oh yeah. You gotta like push it down so it gives it make a lot. Yeah, you can make a lot more shapes. Here we go. I'm making a I'm making Let's see yours, buddy. I am making a um a, a flower? Yeah, a flower. Good job. Oh, it turned out cute. Smell it. See what you think. Does it, it smell like, smell like fall? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it hot? Because uh, you have to cook it. Oh. Yeah. Kids are all done, so we put them in these um, glass sealable containers, and we're just going to store them in our craft closet. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. So. Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby So stuck, I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up cause nothing was changing. But with you it's so clear, and now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum. Guess I finally learned my lesson. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever. Just finished eating some jalapeno poppers a little bit ago. I made that as like, kind of like a lunch slash snack before dinner for me and my husband. I think we're gonna be doing something super simple for dinner tonight. I think I'm just gonna make some pizza for the kids. And I have leftovers or I have my factor meals. So we'll see, my husband's just gonna have pizza. But I do need to get a workout in because I didn't work out in the last two days and I want it to work out today. So right now I have a few spare moments. I don't really have to do anything quite yet. It's 3.45, so I think I'm gonna do a quick workout on my Peloton over there. I have seriously been loving my bike. I've been working out almost every single day. I really enjoy it. And they offer different classes, not just cycling. So I think today I'm gonna mix it up and do like a cardio style class. It's kind of what I'm feeling. So I think I'm gonna do that. But I did wanna tell you guys, yesterday I took the kids to the library for the first time in literally forever. I don't think I've been to a public library since we lived back in North Carolina. So it had been a really long time and the kids were so super excited. Like Aubrey has really been getting into reading. Adrian has always loved reading, so it was a lot of fun taking the kids there. 
even though Ethan was a little crazy, but we managed to all pick out books and check out in the library and it was just a lot of fun. So I'm excited to start taking the kids to the library more frequently and next time I'll definitely have to vlog it. But I wanted to spend yesterday just kind of taking a break off of all of the social medias. I have really been feeling like I'm overworking to be quite honest. I feel like I'm spending a lot of time filming and editing, especially because I've been trying to do bonus videos on my cleaning channel. And that is by far the most time consuming thing. Like, I don't know if you guys watch my cleaning channel, but I usually make like 30 minute long videos over there. And you guys, seriously, it is at least four to six hours of nonstop cleaning footage to get a 30 minute video. So it takes four to six hours to get the footage and then I have to edit it down, which takes a really long time. You have to add music, do the voiceover. So creating cleaning content is very time consuming. So I think I'm gonna take a little break from bonus videos over there and just give myself a little break because I've been feeling super overworked, very mentally drained. And I don't know, I just been feeling that mom guilt I mentioned before like I just feel like I hadn't been doing a lot with the kids so this weekend that's what I really tried focusing on like yesterday we went outside rode bikes rode on Austin's little miniature motorcycle we went to the library I did Adrian's fingernails and then today we made play-doh so I just been trying to spend the weekend just having some quality time with the kiddos but enough of me rambling. I'm gonna go ahead, get my workout in really quick. I'm probably just gonna do like a 20 to 30 minute workout just to get my blood flowing. And then after that, it'll be around dinner time. Days without water along the sun so grown. We cross over borders get where we are and it's all for you Whew, i did a quick 20 minute hit session i am super out of breath i burned 136 calories Whew, in 20 minutes i feel really good now <laughs> nice and rejuvenated and sweaty while i was working out this is what the kids <laughs> we're doing Hi. what are y'all doing Hi. <laughs> your foot's bleeding what'd you do to your toe it was a nail a nail and, and the carpet yeah uh -oh. and his fort. oh and his fort yeah that's why i'm in this fort oh it's safer over here <laughs> <laughs> so i bought these for the kids so they can help me decorate them so I'm gonna go ahead and make the brownies. That way they can cool while they eat dinner and then after dinner we can decorate and then eat them for dessert. Decorate? Yep. <gasps> decorate some brownies. Wait, we can decorate them? Yeah, you put the frosting and the sprinkles on it, so. Wait, didn't we do this last year? Like, uh, something similar. We made Hocus Pocus books. Yeah. But, homemade. And then we got to like put the eyes on them. Yep. Frosting. So I'm gonna mix this up real quick. What? I thought these came with the frosting. They only come with sprinkles. So I need to check my pantry and see if I have any frosting. We are in luck. I actually have one thing of vanilla so I can color it green and we can still make these. I did it all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, I did it all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you.
Is it hot? Uh, a tiny bit, not not really. They've been cooling down for a while. Whoa, this nice. Okay, let's. Now we're gonna take time. Okay, Adrian, you do half. Okay, you can do some half. Oh, hold on, Nathan. We're gonna take turns. And then Aubrey will do half. Uh, if we're having an attitude, we won't get a turn. Okay. It's all for you. I did it all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. Yum, they look delicious. Good job. Our happy, healthy family. Yep, everyone gets along. So nice. <laughs> Alright you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog right here. Those brownies were seriously so delicious. But if you do buy those, make sure you pick up some frosting because it did not come with it. But I hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with me. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel. And if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe and join my YouTube family. I do upload every single week tons of motherhood content and I would love to have you here. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>